Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Cross Studios here, and I'm here with a LEGO Ninjago mock and a long-awaited one. No, I haven't been releasing them as much as usual, but obviously, um, it's been a little slow on production lately, but I ha I do have a lot of things in production for Ninjago, so uh, you Ninjago fans, just keep on watching. I'm going to be making more mocks. So, I am here with the city of Ouroboros. It is from Season 2, if you did not know, or uh, Season 1, as... Uh, most people consider the skeleton not really a series, so I guess you could say series one if you don't consider that skeleton uh, series. Um, but you can see right here I include four minifigures and stuff, and it's a pretty cool mock. has a lot of playability features, so let's take a look at our minifigures. Here are the minifigures I included with this model. You can see I put Kai with his fire sword. I put Nia right there. I thought um, I didn't really put Nia in many sets, so I decided to put her in here. And I just included two miscellaneous snake minions. Alright, so here is the city of Ouroboros, taking a look at it. It looks pretty sweet. You can see how the sides of these move, uh, kind of like this on each side. It looks pretty cool, actually. And uh, spinning it around, there's a lot of details I put on this. I tried to get an Egyptian look to this. It looks pretty sweet. And I'll take a look at the front right here. I got the whole snake head look. You can see the doorway entering into a little building right here. Over here, I have a little snake pit type of thing going. So we're going to go to the left side first. So on the left side to start out, you can see there's some cool brick patterns right here. It looks really sweet when you go to the inside. You can kind of play with your minifigures and see if you can have them run around. There's a little crossbow station up here, which looks pretty sweet. Moving on the side, you got a kind of brick wall looking type of thing there. You have a little window. And on the back, it's easily accessible to get inside. You have a crate right here, which has some silver coins on the inside. Um, nothing really too much with that. I just thought I'd add it into the set. It looks pretty cool. So uh, one of the features with this is basically you just put a minifigure up here, and uh, it's obviously, I think you guys can tell, it's just one of those dropping floor features, so it kind of just falls right there. It's a pretty cool little feature, um, works pretty well. The only problem, I think, is you have to push it back up in order for it to work again. And another small feature over here is this little lever you kind of press, it fires up a little rock. I think it's pretty little cool looking, I mean, uh, you just put your little snake guy right here, and when you press it, it kind of just hits him. It's pretty cool looking. Moving on to the right side, you can see there's some hieroglyphics right here. It looks really sweet. So you can walk your minifigures up here, and this is one of the traps as well. So if your minifigure falls into here, it's kind of just like a little spiky pit area with a snake in there. You can see that it looks pretty detailed, and there's a hieroglyphic right here as well. And also, there's a little crate right here as well. I put a little type of knife thing in here. It kind of looks like the Wolverine claw. That looks pretty cool, and I uh, I don't know, I just decided to put it in the set. It's a pretty cool little add-in. Another thing you can do is there's a big cage back here. You can put a minifigure in there. It's the same design as the one from the Pirates of the Caribbean, if you did not know. Just kind of close that up, and you can see how it hooks on there with just a little hook. Just put it on. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool add-in to the set, so we're going to move on to the middle. So moving on to the middle, you can see there's some tusks designs here, and there's also some hieroglyphics in the middle right there. Looks pretty cool. You can see the snake head right here, and this is where you put the fang blades. You put one here and one here, and basically you put two on the snake's head right there. I thought that was pretty cool looking. You can take a look at the snake head from the side. There's a little feature with this as well. So basically when you open it up, a little snake uh, ooze pops out. It's not really from the show, but I thought it was a cool feature. You can see what I used to do that. So basically I'll show you where you reload that in the middle in a minute. But you can see this uh, pole right here has the, I don't think you guys saw the top, it has a little cool design right there. And uh, on the sides of the pillar you can see uh, there's some cool unique designs right there as well. Same thing on this side, you can see it a lot clearer. Um, it's pretty sweet looking right there. There's some, I don't know, it's just kind of a cool pattern going down. And on the back there is a ladder to get up to the top of this and you can see there's an area where you can put a minifigure. So I guess you could put, I don't know, maybe your... Uh, snake guy up here, a little short guy, you can just kind of sit him up there. So basically how to actually load the uh, little snake ooze type of thing that uh, falls out. Basically uh, if you can see the back of the head right here, um, this is the snake head right here, the back of it. You can see there's a little hole in the snake head. You just kind of put it in here like this and it's really easy to get in. If you can see right there, it's pretty cool looking, and you can see how they just kind of sit in there. Obviously, when you want to unload them, you just kind of open this up. So I thought it was a cool little feature to add in. I think it was uh, pretty cool to add in the set. And uh, I think that I did a pretty good job on the city of Ouroboros. So uh, let's go into the ending of this video. Alright guys, so that is basically it for this Ninjago mock. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be making more Ninjago mocks. Um, I actually have another one started right now, which is Ed and Ed does Junkyard, which will be the next one to be finished. Um, I will make a City of Sticks, I decided, 
and uh, I, I know that's big news to a lot of you guys. I, I decided I'm going to make a City of Sticks. The City of Sticks will also include Ronin's shop in it. So that's going to be kind of an add-in. It's going to have some of the things from the show in it. It's going to be a pretty big set. I don't know. It would probably be like a $100, maybe $80 set once I'm completely done with it. And the Ed and Edna set might be like a $50 to $60 set. Um, maybe a little bigger. It'll be it'll be a lot of small sections involved in it, not really big models. It'll be a lot of small models like combined to make a big set. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the City of Ouroboros mock. I thought it was pretty cool from the show, so that's why I decided to make it. So I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.